Hi guys, JC here. Welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> this week's feature comes to us from Churchill, so that must only mean one thing. Yep. And it is time again for the Stephen Foster, you guys. This here is race 11 from Churchill, set for a mile and eighth on the main track. It is restricted to four-year-olds and up, and carries a purse of $600,000, so let's get started right away. Oh, by the way, before we get started, this is also a win in your end for the Brewers Cup Classic. <laughs> guys, I am liking Byzantine to win this one. Now, you guys, if anyone can beat Chalky Maxfield, it certainly should be Byzantine. Now, let me tell you why, okay? <laughs> now, yes, oh yes, Maxfield beat him pretty, pretty bad last time out. But, oh well. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, seriously, guys, I'm seeing all the times in the past that Visitants come from behind. You know, you could say he's clothes like a banshee. <laughs> um, seriously, y'all, he's, he's stolen victories away from other horses, you know, at the wire. And, you know, sure, last time out, you know, uh, Maxfield has had his number. But, I mean, seriously, revenge is always in the works in horse races. I think I told you guys this in the last video. Uh, horses, when they go up against each other again, more often than not, the victory is flip-flop. So that's another thing you want to think about when you're hand handicapping. Uh, but seriously, guys, Visitant has all the power and all the reasons why he should be able to do his closing ability like he always does and come from behind and snag this victory, all right? So, with that being said, I like Visitant on top on Saturday. And moving right along, I am liking, of course, Max Field to run second. Now, you guys, there is no discredit discrediting this horse at all. You know, he looks fantastic. He only has one loss, um, but Saturday he should easily run away with this one. You know, you guys, um, he could easily wire him. Or he could easily make a bid from behind and catch him at the wire, similar to visit him. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. You have to wait and see what kind of run style they're going to choose for this one. Um, but, honestly, y'all, seriously, for monetary purposes, we got to rank him a little lower. So, Maxfield running second, you guys. And rounding out your top three, I am liking Chess Chief. Now, this horse... Has some pretty good closing power lately, you know. Last few times out, he claimed he came from six and seven now, respectively, to run third and first. Now, before that, the times before that, he stalked his way home to uh, getting into the money. So, again, I'd like to see also with this one how he's going to choose how they are going to choose to run this one. But seriously, I think that he might uh, stand a good chance of coming from behind. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyways, you guys, Chess Chief running third, and finally, your JC Upset Special, Necker Island. <laughs> you guys, I've said before, I will say it again, if you like what you see, and I know that you do, click subscribe, ring my bell, so you never ever miss a video. Pass my video down the street to someone else who's going to like and click ring, so they never ever miss a video. And you guys, join me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview. I will catch you next week. Bye.